guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amber Rose here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you can tell, the title of this video is a springy type, nudish type look just to help us transition. We just celebrated St. Patty's Day and the first day of spring is either going to be Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember, the 20th or the 21st, but it's quickly approaching. So I wanted to come up here and do like a little tutorial of a little spring look, a little fun look. So. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you never ever miss a video from me and upload from me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Alrighty, I'm going to start off with Too Faced's Peach Palette in the color Puree. I like to use this as a transitional color. So this is going to go right into our crease, my crease, and I typically like my transition color to um, be like the color of my skin, depending on what look I'm going for, of course. But this matches my skin tone. Next, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance Palette Love Letter. And I'm also going to use the Mini Masquerade palette in the color Bori and mix those two together and add it to my outer corner. And I'll kind of blend it up into the crease as well. And as we know, blending tends to take a lot of time. So um, that's why I sped up the like blending process and application process because it can take a lot of time. You want your font or um, eyeshadow to be blended nicely, nicely have that gradient effect. And um, just look pretty on the eyes so you don't want it to be too sloppy so I'm continuing to blend that in and I'm going back into between two brushes so that's what I'm doing and picking up more color as needed so my camera has like I have a new camera so it's kind of like altered the look of um, the eyeshadow and everything so I'm trying to get the settings right so I do apologize for that and I'm going to go back into the modern renaissance palette and pick up Primavera and I'm using a medium sized eyeshadow brush to apply that color and I'm putting it midway on the lid I'm just packing it in and I'm going right below the crease because I'm going to go in and blend that out so it like doesn't look like I just sat it there so you just want to make sure you blend 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 going back into the modern renaissance palette I'm picking up the Bori color it's a nice pinkish color so I'm just trying to lighten up that outer crease. I'm going to blend it all in. Blend, blend, blend. That is the fun part. <laughs> Using the eyeshadow brush to go in and blend the crease. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to pick up the color Giza, put it on my brow bone, and I'm going to blend that out just a little bit just to add a little highlight. Just a little highlight, blending a little more. Blend till you see fit. How about that? <laughs> All right, going into the mini, mini masquerade palette, I'm going to pick up the color Bori, and I'm also going to pick up the color Giza, and I kind of mix those two together, and I'm going to put those onto the lower lash line, and this helps your eye not to look so top heavy. So it's kind of a balance between the upper eye and the lower lid, or the upper lid and the lower lid. Next, um, I've already placed my foundation, so I'm just going to put my concealer on. I am using Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer, and I use a damp beauty blender, and I'm just blending it all in. And you want to highlight those areas. The light tends to hit first, which is the bridge of the nose, up under the eyes, and in that small area on the forehead. I'm going to blend, blend, blend. to get watery so I apologize if I'm blinking so much and like I said before my camera is new I'm trying to get the settings correct so um, yes and I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly's Hill Beverly Hills foundation stick and I'm just gonna contour with this and I do my forehead and the hollows of my cheek a little bit of my nose because my nose is kind of big and so this is like a little summer glam type, simple summer glam, because I like simplicity. <laughs> then I'm going to blend all of that in, 
and I'm using an angled wet and wild contour brush I think it is. So the angled brush really helps to get all of that stuff blended quite easily. And by this point my arm is getting ready to fall off, like seriously. As I just said, my arm is tired. So I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. Alright. And I use a powder or blender to sometimes blend it out. And like after this point guys, after I contour my nose, I kind of skipped around. I didn't record the blush part, but I will include the products that I use. Um, and I included a little bit of the highlight. Um, from this point on, I'm going to go ahead and set up under that contour that just helps to add definition. And then I'm going to do the top or the center of my forehead. Under my eyes, I do the top of my lip because I do not want to have any creasing. So setting helps to definitely um, minimize oil and to also um, prevent creasing most of the time. Sometimes you might have a little creasing, but um, usually the setting power will help to minimize that. So that is what I'm doing. And this was just for short wear. So I apologize with the lighting because it's really off. I'm going to let that sit a little bit and let it work right into the skin. So I know my foundation's not going in there. I'm going to brush that away. And I will tell you this. Setting the Sasha Buttercup seems to be sometimes stubborn. So you have to put some arm work behind getting that setting powder off of your face especially if you let it bake for a little while so my camera setting my lighting was like really bad okay so here I skip right into highlighting and I highlight the top of my cheeks down the bridge of my nose a little bit the top of my forehead and I like to get my um, top of my lip that just helps to add definition and kind of make my lipstick pop and at the end, you don't see me on camera, but I blend out my setting powder a little more. And here I am using a Palato Natural Lip Pencil with the color um, NYX's Lip Lingerie and the color Teddy Bear. I'm just blending that out and spray some setting powder by Mar Mario Badesco. And that's pretty much like the final look. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave some comments. I'll make sure I leave all of the products I use down below. I truly appreciate you tuning in and thank you so much for um, joining us here today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I just want to remind you, thumbs up, comment, all of that good stuff. Make sure you share the video as well and I will see you all soon.